Yo, what up, what up? So, real quick video. If you own a clothing company or a streetwear brand, whatever it might be, t-shirts, things like that, you don't want to have a bunch of different images when you're starting out. You want to start out with, you know, have your logo and then maybe have like two other images with that. When you start getting crazy and getting, you know, you're trying to pump out an image every month or an image, you know, you just start getting, everything starts getting crazy and you start, you know, losing track, losing focus. My buddy owns a hat company and I was talking to him the other day about it. I'm like, I'm like, damn, like, cause he's doing really good with it. And I'm like, damn, you only have three images. Like all he has is three images. He does hats, sweatshirts, t-shirts, things like that. But to only have three images, is so easy. Um, it makes not only your brand more noticeable, like, you know, when people see that, they automatically, oh, that's that's them. Um, instead of seeing like, you know, with Flowers and Forties, we had our logo, but then we had, you know, a bunch of different images. And I mean, we, have, we had probably over 30 images, more than that. Um, and to get those all on a shirt and to get those for people to see an image, it would take them a second to be like, oh, that's Flowers and Forties or, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it was the same kind of style, but especially with all the colors, um, when you're doing screen printing, it starts to cost a lot of money. So you have to figure out, you know, if you have three images, say three logo or not, you know, your logo and then like two other images and one color, if it's like white or black or, you know, I mean, you can make it any color you want. Um, but if it's that simple, it, it makes stuff so much easier on your end, on everything. So yeah, just, it, you know, don't overwhelm yourself just with like buying things too. Um, when you're buying t-shirts or whatever your brand is, hats, don't go crazy. Don't go buy, you know, sweatshirts, stickers, sh you know, pants, you know, that's when you start, you know, even when we did, uh, we bought like sunglasses, um, what did we buy? Beanies. We did sweatshirts, hoodies, crew necks, female shirts. Like when you start doing all that, not only does it get expensive, it's hard to keep track of, you know, where's this money going? What's this doing? Granted, you know, it's, that's up to you with your books, but when you start, you just start going, getting all over the place when you start doing a lot of, uh, a lot of different products and different things. So be consistent, stick to one thing for a while when that starts going good and your name's out there and your, your, your brand's out there, start doing shirts. If you're doing hats, you know, start making shirts or, you know, winter time comes around, start doing beanies, you know, maybe do a couple sweatshirts, see how it goes. Um, and stick to a couple things. Don't just go crazy and be like, Oh, I'm going to start putting my logo on this and this and this. And it just, it just gets crazy and it, it's not worth, it's not worth it. And a lot of people like when they're, when their company starts failing, or not even failing, but like when it doesn't pop off, you know, um, people start a company, start a t-shirt line or whatever, and it doesn't pop off in the first couple months. It's like, they're over it. You know, it's, you're not going to get anywhere. Something's not working out and you just quit. You know, who's going to want your brand? You have to make people want it. You have to, you know, show people that this is dope. You know, this is what I do. This is dope. This is the brand. Um, no one's, you know, knocking on your door saying, oh, I want to get that one. I can't wait for that to come out. I need to get it you're brand new. So, you know, keep everything simple and keep it easy at first. And then once you start getting those people who, you know, you're constantly selling your shirts or, you know, you're having a good on your website, you know, you're getting orders, then jump to the next thing. Be like, okay, they're, they're, they're feeling my hats. Let me get, let me put some shirts out there or they're feeling my shirts. Let me jump into sweatshirts real quick. You know, winter time's coming around. Um, things like that. And, you know, it'll make your life so much, so much easier by doing that. Um, it, it made ours doing flowers and forties. It was very, very difficult to keep up with all that stuff. Yeah, man, just keep it simple, easy, and, uh, and stick with it. You know what I mean? No matter what, don't, don't just drop off because people aren't feeling it or people aren't liking it. Find out, you know, what you could do to make yours better and, you know, keep pushing it. Cause that's all it is, is consistency. Keep throwing your stuff out there. Keep throwing up posts on, on Instagram, Facebook, all the social media outlets, and eventually it's going to catch on. Yeah. So if you like it, 
there's going to be other people out there that like it too, you know. Um, your style is, other people will start to like it or, or they do like some things like that. And what's funny with Flaws and Forties is, you know, we had the dude who did it, who was doing the artwork, Alec, um, was doing, he does like cartoonish kind of things. And some of them were dope and I, you know, it was, it was awesome. I liked it. And then we also did some logos like lettering or graffiti lettering and a lot of people like that. And like a lot of my friends would be like, ah, I wasn't really big into the cartoon kind of thing. And we loved the other stuff. And then other people would be like, oh, yo, that cartoon's sick. So you have to kind of figure out, you know, a good balance of what to have and what not to have or. I mean, you can even sell the cartoons and sell the other things and, you know, you'll have the different, the different people buying it. Um, but yeah, you just got to figure it out and, you know, maybe make a couple, couple small runs of some shirts and, and see how that does. And, but yeah, you want to get, you know, the feedback of the people who are going to be buying your shirts or hopefully going to be buying your shirts. Um, so yeah, just keep posting. Don't give up. And dude, eventually it, it'll be popping. So stick with it.